This video is to uh, show Brian Watts charts and uh, if they may be useful for trading. Uh, the, the main audience is uh, a private trading forum, um, but I wasn't able to figure out how to use YouTube private uh, videos, so I'm just making a public video after taking out a couple of things. I've been following Brian Watt's channel for a long time and someone on a trading forum posted links to his chart setups. I pulled them up in Thinkorswim and just wanted to do a short discussion on them for other people looking into using them for day trading or swing trading. I have not actually traded with these tools yet but plan to just watch how they behave for a while. The idea is to combine these tools with my existing tools. The video is mainly a discussion point uh, to kick off. Willie shared three thinkorswim charts on Wednesday with his charts, so I'm imported them to play around with them. There are three charts in the package, the rotation chart, Renko Bricks chart, and the Goat Sicilian chart. The rotation chart in the package uh, was for a much shorter uh, percent move, so there were a lot more uh, zigzags on the chart than what I have here. I am used to Brian's longer term charts, so I changed the settings to close 4.0, yes and yes on zigzag percent and that's the result here. Brian's idea is that um, you have a move and then you have a retracement of that move and you can sometimes get an idea of the retracement based on the size of the original move. So you have a large move here and then a smaller move in the other direction and then a small retrace there and then a large move here. So for now you might wonder what it, what are the, what's the potential for reversal here? Maybe <clears throat> somewhere between a third and two thirds. <clears throat> this is a daily chart <clears throat> so the idea is to get a, an idea of the the idea is to get a picture of the larger trend so that you can trade in that direction on your day trades. The Renko Bricks chart is also a daily chart. <clears throat> and what I've seen Brian use this for is to get the numbers on the purple lines, which are one standard deviation from the median line, the yellow one. And he typically puts <coughs> Uh, a buy below the purple line and a sell above the purple line. So this is a way to get an idea of the potential trend reversal. So um, he would use this in conjunction with an intraday chart. Uh, as you can see here, the first time he hits the purple line you get a bounce. Uh, up here you, it hits the purple line and you get a decline and there are lots of times when there's no move below or above a purple line <coughs> but I think when it's in this range it's generally supportive uh, I guess the lower you go the more supportive it is on the bullish side and uh, there are long periods of time when it doesn't look like uh, there's a strong signal. Now, this does not look like it works well in a strong trending market. So here you have it hit the, the purple line. Well, it doesn't work well for trending markets <clears throat> in a swing trading basis. It may work fine on a day trading basis. I haven't looked in detail at that yet. 
So here's a strong trending move up. And you can see that shorting the purple line does not work for this move up, at least on a swing trading basis. And here is one of those times when it hit the green line. And the idea is when it hits the green line um, to go short, but that would not have worked well here on a short term or swing basis. The GOAT Sicilian chart is clearly used for day trading as the time frame um, is in hours instead of days. And the idea is the same. You have a median line, you have one standard deviation, two standard deviations, three standard deviations. Buy the red line, the, buy the lower red line, sell the upper red line, and similar with the pink lines. This is a backup, back up the truck type situation when you have uh, probably some um, either catastrophe or just outstanding great news. Um, so he would uh, use the daily stuff from the, he would use the charts, the daily charts to set up a support range where he buys and he would typically draw a rectangle below and then draw a rectangle above at which he would go short. And on the bullish side at the top of the rectangle he would he would scale in some longs and then as it went lower he would scale in more longs and the same the opposite on the short side. So uh, let's <coughs> take a look at yesterday to see if this is useful. Um, yesterday was a large drawdown in the market. It hit below the red line here twice. And then we got a nice move into the close. And uh, s even some more upside in after hours. If we go back a little further, um, this is a longer period below and at the red line. That made uh, a tradable bounce, although um, I think watching yesterday it wasn't that strong. This is another one which was like a good trade. Now here's an area, here's a time when <coughs> it hit the pink line and this would have made for a nice trade. And then here's that time when there was a rally and uh, we went above it and then below. So it looks usable for day trading. Uh, I think Brian makes a pretty good living off of using these charts for day trading. So. Uh, is definitely something to consider um, to add to your existing bag of tricks and trading. So uh, if you have ideas on this, uh, how usable it is, or uh, have a better understanding than I do about using these tools, uh, just let me know in uh, the trading forum. Thanks.